Hi, this is Stephanie Miller from The Stephanie Miller Show. Please enjoy this exclusive clip from my show on Political Voices Network. I was speaking, Carl. Thank God, though, the biggest threat to America, fascism. Uh, the government will may, shut, <clears throat> may well shut down. What is it, tomorrow, Chris? Uh, 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 Saturday, yeah, no one gets paid, you know, worldwide yeah. financial yeah. catastrophe. But you cannot wear shorts or a hoodie in the Senate anymore. So that's, uh, thank God. I mean, God bless the United States. John Fetterman. God will, bless yeah. the United States. Yes, uh, thanks to, oh, it was a resolution met, met, led by uh, Mitt Romney. Was it, where did this fall on his outrage meter? Was this the time where Falka came in second? Was it, or the amuse-bouche? Is this in the new book? I think it's in the new book. Mm-hmm. Um, Romney's Guide for Dress. It's in the yes. Book of Women. Uh, <laughs> the women. Mm-hmm. Yes. yes. Oh, and also Joe Manchin. So uh, they have the highest childhood poverty rate in America. Right. In his, but, but thank God Joe Manchin took a stand on it. And he also you you know, imagine every ad, other thing. Hmm? You know, can you imagine the ad of Manchin running for re-election about how he reached bipartisan yes consensus, consensus on hoodies mm-hmm. on. Mm-hmm. Oh. on, on uh, the appropriateness of hoodies. Yes. Oh, can I have the tiniest of violins for Chuck Grassley's sure. tweet? Uh, <coughs> thankfully, Senator Schumer's unprecedented decision was overruled <laughs> by the will of the Senate. God bless common sense. Okay. <laughs> Carl, I just, I, know, I don't I, even know I what may to have, say about them. I may have oversnarked myself. I may have to take an early nap today. <laughs> So was, that, was that more snark or well, sarcasm? I can't. It is hoodie weather in, in Northern Virginia, so I plan on wearing my hoodie when I'm out door knocking. I'll tell you that much. In solidarity. Um, I'll, 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 do it, I'll do it for Fetterman. <laughs> exactly. I mean, Carl, we joke, but oh my God, this is like maybe the closest we've gotten to them actually shutting the government down, right? I mean, they're just, I, I and we were I mean, saying yesterday. I sounding outraged. Yeah. It's almost like they're talking about gun violence, you know? Or, or this is the level of outrage that we should be hearing from Republicans about gun violence and any number of other issues right. to spur them to action. You know, who knew that all uh, Chuck Schumer had to do was talk about, you know, uh, the dress code in the Senate to get people riled up? Um, I mean, and by the way, have you seen what Republican senators are wearing to, to the Senate? It's not like they're fashion plates yeah. or anything, yeah. um, you know. Yeah, well, first of all, tell Jim Jordan to put on a jacket and Lauren Boer put her boobies back in her dress and then we'll talk. Okay, I'm wow. sorry. Carl, I am in a mood this morning because... You've already said her name once. You only get one more time. You right. cannot say her sorry. name three times. <laughs> or Beetle just appears and he's pissed. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so, Carl, last night, I don't know if you watched any of this clown show, but oh my God, the amount of times they, you know, mentioned teachers. But of course, not union teachers because not, not those. But I, what do we have to subject Carl? We have to subject you to the horribly awkward uh, Mike Pence trying to talk about sex and steal a George W. Bush joke at the same time. Here we go. Yes. Should be, uh, oh, 25. 25. Oh. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. I'm sorry, Carl. Did because by way of full disclosure, Chris, you mentioned the president's situation. I'm, my wife uh, isn't a member of the teachers union, but I got to admit, I'm, I've been sleeping with a teacher Ugh. for 38 years. Oh. And um, so full disclosure. <laughs> That was painful on every level as a comedian. <laughs> I don't even want a partial disclosure from Mike Pence. Um, <laughs> not even a smidge, right? Um, you know, the best moment, in my opinion, during the debate, you know, if somebody was doing the teaching, um, Nikki Haley really schooled Vivek Ramasamy. Yes. Um, when she she said, like, you know, I feel dumber having listened to you. Yeah. Yes, which is stolen you from know, Billy Madison, just, but okay. Yeah, right. Yeah, sure. I mean, she hasn't seen a movie in a couple of decades, but um, I'm going to let her have it. I yeah. mean, it was, it was, uh, it was, it was great. I mean, these are the types of things that you wish you could tell them personally. Yeah. Um, and you know, if they're going to throw it at each other, I think that's fine. But what did you think of just all the talk about teachers when, when you know, they're in the process of trying to ban books and tell you what you know what can be taught in your schools and the you know drag queens are grooming your children. I mean, it just. What was your thought as a school board member? I think as long as that is the sales pitch around teaching, we're going to continue to have problems hiring and retaining teachers. Look, what do teachers want? They are trained professionals. They want to do their jobs. They want to be well compensated in a competitive way 
for doing their jobs. They want time to plan for doing their jobs. They want to be safe in their schools. So they want their leaders to tackle gun violence. Um, and they want, you know, uh, as few students in their classrooms as they can, so they can focus on it. I mean, they want the basics. They don't want this baloney that they're, that we're getting from the far right. They don't want to be attacked for doing their jobs. Yeah. I mean, that's why I just, I, I know I, I almost uh, snargasm myself to death there, but it's just, Joe Manchin's one of the main reasons we, you know, we can never seem to do anything about gun violence. And, and he's like, oh, but he took a stand against hoodies on the, on the Senate floor. I mean, Joe Manchin has blocked every piece of legislation that, you know, certainly those on the Democratic side care about, right? Yeah, I mean, just about um, certainly the things that, you know, and, and what's sad about it is whether or not he gets reelected, um, it's not going to be because he he did these things. Right. He could have done the right thing um, and voters probably would have respected him for it. Yeah. Um, let's listen to uh, So this is a uh, Mike Lawler Republican on with Kate, Caitlin Collins about the shutdown or no. Do you believe that the votes are there or is it clear to you? what the strategy is exactly tonight? Well, we're going to work like heck to pass it. I, I mean, I've been very clear from the start uh, that I will not support a government shutdown, uh, that we need to do everything we can to avoid one. Uh, nobody wins in a government shutdown. And in fact, the American people are going to be the ones that get hurt. Yeah, except it, it, it seems like the crazy caucus is really the one, the ones in control. Absolutely. Um, you know, as long as Kevin McCarthy is clinging to his majority by just a handful of votes, they're going to control this. That's why they're talking about impeachment. That's why we're heading towards a government shutdown. That's why they're not focused on literally anything that the American people care about. Literally anything. They're not talking about jobs. They're not talking about education in any meaningful way. Yeah. Um, it's all, you know, what do we find on the YouTube comment threads today? Um, you know, how can we make a liberal angry? Um, it has nothing to do with what impacts everyday Americans, what they're actually thinking about. Yeah, I would uh, I would like to pause here to apologize to both you, uh, fancy school board member and Chris LeBoy, uh, grammar Nazi, uh -oh. that I just said uh, the, the, um, the clown caucus is, and I meant uh, they are, the ones in charge. I apologize, uh, Stephanie Miller. Uh, no, apologize. It's a, it's the caucus would be singular, is? It's a singular caucus. Yeah, so is it is correct. Oh, oh, correct. Oh, right. Really? That is wow. correct. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Wow. I can't believe I got something. You're correcting me that I was right about right. something. Yeah. That's yeah. fantastic. Yeah. Okay. No, that was right. Sorry. I was just, like, Carl was suddenly, was, I was thinking of a nine <laughs> I think from Chris my... Just, I think Chris just wanted you to say caucus over and over. Yes. <laughs> yeah. yes. I just wanted to say caucus. Yeah. He, well, Kevin needs to grab them by the caucus, doesn't he? <laughs> Get that well, I, look, in control. He, if he ever has a backbone, he will lose the speakership. Yeah, yeah. So you know, um, but this is the price you pay when you sell your soul yeah. to to get the job. Absolutely. Yeah, our uh, friend, our favorite uh, Weeblo, and Congressperson Brendan Boyle. He's very he looks young like looking. a Weeblo, yes. but he is actually a congressman. Yeah. Yes. Previous speaker just said that no Republican member wants a shutdown. I have the quotes right here, which I will submit for the record <laughs> when I'm done. One House Republican said, "Let's shut it down." Another Republican colleague saying we shouldn't fear a government shutdown. Most Americans won't even miss it. And the leader of the Republican Party, the former president, saying, quote, unless you get everything, shut it down. I, I don't even, I mean, again, the most infuriating thing we were talking about yesterday, Carl, is that they still get paid, members of Congress. Do you don't think this is going to infuriate the American public? Even the military doesn't get paid, but they get paid, so they don't care. When checks get delayed, when, yeah, look, um, they they have no skin in the game. Um, so, it, but they often have no skin in the game when they're, when they're dealing with matters that impact the American people, right? When they're, you know, sending people to war, when they're, um, you know, lowering taxes for the wealthy, but raising them for, um, you know, hardworking people. Um, when they're talking about public schools, for crying out loud. So um, it's not surprising that that they're this disconnected. And by the way, he, uh, Congressman Boyle probably could have gone on for another twenty minutes, mm -hmm. quoting members of, of yeah. the Republican Caucus talking about how they want to shut the government down. Yeah, you know, one way they could shut the government down is just giving up their jobs. Yeah, yeah. By the way, I was just going to say quickly, just in the light of you know the latest bombshell that Trump has been 
proven what we all knew to be a lifelong fraud in the New York case. Um, it, findings in Trump fraud trial reignite questions about why Bill Barr's DOJ dropped the case. So at the same time, they're trying to do this impeachment and two systems of justice, you know, thing. Here we go again, where you go, Bill Barr absolutely weaponized the Department of Justice for Donald Trump, right? Dropped, you know, anything uh, to do with him or his friends and tried to persecute all of his en- enemies like uh, Michael Cohen, right? Absolutely. And what's remarkable now is that you see like the kids trying to distance themselves from the company that they ostensibly supposedly run. Yeah. Um, <laughs> you know, like Eric Trump's like, I had nothing to do with the fraud in the company that I'm responsible of, for. Right. right. Um, you know, it, Look, it is nice to see this happening. I hope there are some, uh, you know, actual consequences down the road um, other than a few bucks here and there. Um, You know, no more of these fines just for the sake of saying you got something out of it. Um, You know, there needs to be real penalties here. Yep, absolutely. Uh, Carl, it is mooksforcarl.com, and it is, uh, all joking aside, is is really critical that we get people like uh, Carl. Early voting has started, and we need the resources to get in front of the voters before they get their ballots so that we can... uh, Tell them about the good things that we're doing and make sure that we don't let somebody who would auction off an assault rifle. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so and, we, and, we, and we often say the Democrats don't get involved on every level, state, local, whatever. Don't take everything seriously in the off year. Carl is putting his money where his yeah. mouth is. So You're we, walking the walk. Yeah. We got to walk in the talk. You got to support that. Mooksforcarl.com. We love you, Carl. Good luck. Oh, hi. I'm here with sexy liberal John Fiegelsang wearing my Los Angeles sexy liberal shirt. Oh, my God. We have an L.A. show coming up October 21st. But how else could you see it, John? How else could you see it? I'm so glad you asked. For a limited time, you can see the show live via (gasps) pay-per-view if you go to sexyliberal.com. All the laughs, you'll miss nothing. I can stream it from all around the world? All around the world, in your car, while you're driving. Watch it at home. Sexyliberal.com, yeah.